Hey everybody, it's Scott Smith from Southern California over here at Rustnack BMW. I know I did a quick little video of this thing when it right when it got off the truck, but now that we pulled the plastic off, it's up here. I just thought I'd do a little closer walk around, give you a little bit more detail. Brand new 2015 BMW M3 sedan. Uh, I think it's the Yas Marino Blue Metallic, if I'm saying it right. But yeah, and then we got the Silverstone interior. I'll get to that in a minute. Johnson's helping me out here. Going to do a little rev for us. Um, and then also we'll look underneath the hood. So let's cruise on over to the back. Great sound and exhaust for factory. Yeah, and let's go underneath the hood, show you underneath there. They got some amazing strut arm support arms, strut support arms in there. I think the carbon fiber looks really good. Really nice design. I haven't seen this before in any other car, so if you guys have seen any of these type of design carbon fiber strut arms, let me know what model. Love to be able to check it out. Just check out that engine compartment. It's full of fun, isn't it? <laughs> kind of hard to beat this engine. I know the high rev V8 we used to have is a phenomenal engine. We just got in a 2011 used one. I took it out on a test drive, nice and warmed up, and that is one amazing car. But this one I haven't been able to, uh, you know, these are so new, so we haven't been able to go out and really get crazy in them. There's obviously a break in period, about 1,200 miles on these cars. You don't want to rev them over 4,000 RPM. So, thanks, Johnson. This one's also got the full LED adaptive headlights. Thanks, buddy. Have a good night. Yeah. Yeah. And then check out the exclusive uh, grill to the kidney grills. You got the double rib, got the M3 Motorsport Division colors right in there. Then, really detailed, I mean, a lot of people have really liked all the structure and sculpture they put into these front and rear bumpers in this car. A lot of nice detail. As you can see, this one's got the front cameras on it. And one reason they did this um, was for the, um, you guys know when you stick the nose of the car out on a street and everybody's parked, you got blind spots, you got to stick out half the car to be able to look down the street. Well, this is great. Just stick out the front, push a button next to your leg, the cameras look down the street, let you know if anybody's coming. So as you can tell, you only put out maybe about a foot, foot and a half of the car out into the street, and you can look down the street. So it's really nice, and they're great high-res cameras, too. This one's got your upgraded black, you know, polished 19-inch uh, wheels. You've got the M Performance brakes, obviously standard. And some good old Michelin, I think, Super Sports on here, non-run flat, obviously. There's your exit diffuser for the wheel well actually functional they really did a nice job on the signature mirrors I mean this design you know compared to some of the old e36s some of the mirrors we've had have just really been beautiful comes with the uh, shadow line exterior what I call kind of the black chrome but really what a great looking car this is one of their exclusive colors too Got the little spoiler, signature little M3 spoiler. And these have the split 60-40 seat, not the 40-20-40s you see in some of the other models. I think it's just because of the exclusive design, the sewing, the headrests. And you can see underneath the flooring there's your gel pack for your non-run flat tires. It's decent sized trunk. Driver's assistance package, got the rear camera, and your good old quad exhaust tips. But just awesome how much detail they put into this body. And you can see it's not too loud when it's all warmed up. All right, let's look at the sticker on this one. So you can see here, base price, 62 grand plus destination, you know, puts you close to 63. One thing I was thinking, guys, you know, if you do this, base car, 
put in double clutch, put in some nice 19 inch wheels. I mean, that's a lot of car. Double clutch 29. What's the 19s cost us? Can't remember on this one exactly. Let's see. Maybe we've got those standard. Oh, there's the 19s, 1200. So you put that on top of the base price, you're still under 70 grand and you got a hell of a car. I mean, all the other technology and packages is awesome, but if you're just truly doing a driver's car, you know what I mean? You could just go stock with the double clutch and it's a hell of a car. I mean, I think one of the magazines, can't remember if it's car and driver, um, it was the M4 and M3 on the cover. I think the uh, M3 was 3.80 to 60, and the M4 was 3.9, I think. So, you know, for buying a car under 70 grand and have this kind of comp performance, get my fingers out of the way here. But you can see this one's pretty loaded at 80 grand, 80 over 80 grand. Enhanced Bluetooth, premium sound, Harman Kardon, upgrade to the 19s. And, well, I guess you got to put in that M adaptive suspension, but still, that'll keep you under 70 grand. I know the lights are awesome too, but the xenons aren't bad. You know, they're reliable, they're good. I mean, the full LEDs, LEDs have been out for, I think, at least a couple years with the US models. Executive package, driver's assistance plus. So you got the blind spot detection, lane driving assist, active driving assistant, side and top view cameras. But, you know, base price 62, it's not bad. Here's your gas mileage. Let's head inside, check it out. So this is your Silverstone full leather interior. So you got some nice stitching. It's kind of a bold statement, it's really nice. Got the M3 insignia there inside the door. Then they've really done an awesome job on these seats. I know you can't see it right now, but the, the M's will glow at night. So it's really nice touch when you're getting in. There's some of your buttons right there for lane departure, blind spot. And then this one was the first one I've seen with the full carbon fiber. So I know I had it on an earlier little video when I pulled it off. The, we got it just off the truck, but really nice carbon fiber. And, you know, it's got the full... Navigation system, 8.9 inch widescreen, 20 gig hard drive. Good old double clutch transmission with all the settings. I like to show you those cameras and the bumpers. So I push a little button. See, then it pulls them up. Shows you there in the middle where the, where the actual view is coming from. So it's a pretty cool. Just stick your nose out, look down the street. And then just haul. No, <laughs> and just punch it. <laughs> and then you got the reverse. And then that's your bumper there on the bottom. So if you hit something, you got no one else to blame but yourself. And then you can pull up the sensors there. I know one of the doors. Let me close that so I can show you the show you the surround view. So you got the sides. The cameras are actually in the bottom of the mirrors. So that's how that works great for parallel parking this one's got the heads-up display oh there it is you can see it flashing out there in the window that's your speed limit miles and then obviously this car just came in it needs some gas but I think that just turned off but big gauges awesome setup and then just a great M steering wheel it's got its own custom paddles. You won't see that the same on any other the other base M Sport package cars. They'll have a different paddle system. So these paddles are unique to the M series. And then you know you got the touchpad controller. Got some storage. Glove box. What? Glove box is actually pretty good. Whoops. Oh, this one's already sold. No. <laughs> Yeah, most of these coming in. Let me show you the back seat. Also the carbon fiber roof. Really nice. Rigidity, it's light. Drops the center of gravity in this car just enough to help out when you're pulling over a G in this car in the slalom. 
because I think we can, I think it's right around a G, maybe a little bit more you can pull off in this car, so. Hard back seat covers, just really cool. Nice contrast, you know, with the black headliner, silver stone seats. Let me give you another shot from there. Hey, if you guys like this, share with your other media sources. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching, guys. If you got any questions, just throw them down at the bottom. I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. Have a good one.